Benny, we seem like uh, the early season problems with the bullpen. It's it's starting to sort out pretty well right now. The last few games. <clears throat> well, it's been it's been better. Uh, you know, obviously, I have high standards, and so do the guys in the pen. Uh, you know, the consistency. You know, has to show up every night. I think I think Trace. There are some guys who are gaining momentum. You know, we have nine guys down there, right? And you know, for us to have a solid every night bullpen, we need at least six or seven of them pitching well and maybe a couple guys off the mark. But but there is signs of some guys throwing the ball better for sure. You know, I like the way Daniel's throwing the ball. Gibbons has uh, made a little resurgence here. Uh, you know, Carlos, there's been a couple. Uh, there was a walk in Cincinnati leading off to India, uh, lead off walk today, but he got the double, got the big strikeout and then the double play. I mean, you know, some of these pitching principles we talk about have to be uh, eliminated. Uh, I think ENC, you know, sort of a little bit on the comeback trail, uh, but we need them all, right? Cause they're all going to pitch. You know, we got a stretch of games here, five games left on this homestand tomorrow day game. And then four against the Brewers for a good club. So uh, we got to continue. You got to pitch, Tracy. You know that. You got to pitch. And all 14 of these guys have to do their thing. With, with some of the challenges you had with San Diego in the last earlier this year, to see you guys come back the way you have the last two nights, encouraging? Encouraging. You know, it starts with the, you know, with starting pitching uh, that keeps you close. Uh, you know, they got a good pitching staff. They get, they got a really good pitching staff. And, uh, you know, tonight we got to them. You know, they got a formidable bullpen. Uh, you look at what they've done statistically. You look at their strikeout numbers uh, as, a, as a pitching staff. You look at their walks. You, know, the, you look at their hit rate. They've, they've pitched outstanding. And, and we got to them tonight. And we got to a couple of their good guys. Darvish, uh, Pagan, uh, Hill. Uh, you know, we got to their guys. So I'm, you know, proud of our guys. That, you know, they put together some of the bats and put the barrel through the ball. So it was, it was a good game. It was a good game for us. Thank you. Go ahead, Thomas. Yes, buddy, you said yesterday that you saw kind of a surge coming from McMahon. Um, was there anything you saw on the road trip, especially Cincinnati with a couple of power hits that led you to say, hey, he's going to get a go? Well, I, you know, I think that, you know, Mac is still learning and he's making some adjustments and I'm sure he'll, he'll talk to you guys tonight, but, you know, Mac realizes that uh, if he can cut his strikeouts down and put the ball in play, uh, you know, he's got a swing that can generate some power, even when he shortens his swing or even when he chokes up. And I think you saw that tonight a couple of times, him getting up on the bat with two strikes and one of them was a homer and one of them, you know, was the, you know, the ball down the right field line. So, uh, you know, if you can, if you can handle the barrel of the bat and you can manipulate it by being, uh, by choking up a little bit and put the ball in play, good things will happen. And I think Mac is, Mac's learning. I mean, you know, into his third year here and, uh, you know, I'm counting, you know, last year's 60 games as a full year, but, uh, you know, he's, he's getting better and, and, and we're watching it before our eyes. So, uh, and he's, he's making adjustments. You know, he, I think he's, he's starting to understand the value of putting the ball in play and shortening his swing with two strikes. Did you allow yourself to think of a cycle there? I mean, obviously it was a close game, but you look up at the scoreboard and you see yeah. what he has. Yeah, it was, one, it was, what, a double short, but uh, it was a big night. And, hey, listen, that ball, that the, the sack fly, that might have been the hardest ball he hit all night. That was a bullet. Uh, and also, you went to um, Hampson off the bench against the lefty Hill. He has really given you some good at-bats against the lefties. Um, could that be part of his role going forward, you know, to come in and, and do so, those starting off the bench? You know, we don't know where, you know, we don't know yet where Hampy's going to end up, you know, in his career. He's still a young player. He's got, you know, six, 700, 600 at-bats in the big leagues. Uh, you know, that will be determined as he keeps going. But you know, he's shown a knack for coming off the bench and getting big hits, which is a, uh, which is a sign to me that he's prepared. 
he's clear thinking. Uh, you know, he's uh, he's watching the game. He's in the cage, and uh, he's called upon. He's ready. Uh, that's a, I mean, you ask any any player uh, who has been in the National League or has pinch hit. Uh, you know, that's tough. You're coming off the bench cold and you're facing a big league arm. It's, it's tough duty. And, but he's he's come up with some big hits off the bench. But, you know, that shows me something about the, you know, about the mental wherewithal of a player when they're able to do that. Thanks, buddy. Patrick Saunders. Hi. Um, you guys got down early four to nothing and then came back to score eight. I know it's a long season, but would you say was this one of the more satisfying or gratifying wins of the year? Yeah, this is a good one. And we, you know, uh, you know, in the, you know, the coaches when we were, uh, you know, shaking hands after the game, I think there was a number of guys who said, you know, just in passing, that was a good one. You know, to your point that we, we all knew that we were down four nothing to a good team with a, uh, with a guy that's probably headed to the All Star game in Darvish. He's a really good pitcher, but, you know, we sort of drove his pitch count up a little bit. We had great at-bats, and then we put together uh, some really good at-bats against the best bullpen in the National League. So, uh, you know, that was a good win uh, for our guys. That was great. And then uh, I don't know if anybody's mentioned it yet. Chi-Chi, you know, he gave up three home runs in his last outing in Miami. He gives up an early home run here, but after the second inning, he, he – Took you through the sixth inning. He may be kind of overshadowed, but he gave yeah. you what you needed. That was that was huge, no doubt about it. I think after uh, the Darvish hit, uh, you know, there in the second inning to to get it to four to nothing, he got the double play ball uh, against Fam, and then I think there was six consecutive ground ball outs. Uh, you know, I, I I I have to look, but I I don't think anybody got past first base after the second inning. Uh, for the pods that, you know, tells you how we pitch, but, but you're right. Uh, Chi Chi reeled it in. Uh, he and Dom, I think found uh, some answers uh, as they went through the game. And, uh, you know, that was the key to the game, keeping it right there at, at uh, to four runs for, you know, four runs for them uh, to give us a chance to come back. But Chi Chi was great. Thanks buddy. Yeah. Owen Perkins, go ahead Owen. Um, yeah, just to follow up on Chi Chi a little bit, um, do you, could you tell what what he did to make that adjustment and to be so um, you know solid for those last mornings? I think he retired ten in a row and thirteen in the last fifteen after the fourth run. You know, I think you know the simple answer is he, you know, he hit he hit spots and you know made better pitches. But uh, I think the change, I think really the change up came into play uh, tonight. Uh, I think that was uh, a big reason, and we've talked about the changeup as a as a pitch that's a you know truly an equalizer if you can uh, if you can locate it and get it down the strike zone because uh, it has the appearance of a fastball. So basically, it's the fastball and and changeup combination uh, really disrupts the timing of a hitter. And I think we saw that with Chi Chi. I think the slider got better. He kept it down the strike zone. Uh, you know, there was a number of takes by their hitters that, uh, you know, were pitches on the corner. So that tells me that, uh, you know, he was making pitches. And that, I think that was, you know, probably the key to the game was, you know, he just continued to, to hit good spots where I, you know, I assume the, the homer to Tatis was in the middle of the plate uh, where he hit it uh, to right center. Uh, I assume the pitch to Machado was probably in the middle of the plate to double. So, uh, you know, after after that, he, he made. I think the pitch to Darvish was probably a pretty good pitch, the one that he sort of lined down the right field line. That I mean, sort of stuck stuck his bat out. And, you know, really don't like to say, it, don't like to say, it, but it's a pretty good piece of hitting by the pitcher. I mean, that was a pretty good pitch. It looked like so. Uh, but from that point on, you know, he made a lot of good pitches. Got the ball on the ground, uh, got his grounders. You know, had them. Uh, you know, had them off balance. And given what you said about the bullpen overall tonight, um, to have uh, a starter and three relievers who could give you seven shutout innings in a uh, in a row against this very good team, I mean that's the kind of 
pitching you'd love to see consistently, right? I mean, yeah, no doubt, Owen. I think that you know something we talk about. I think teams that win or teams that uh, have good seasons have that consistency throughout the throughout the season. And you know, we've had that before here. Uh, you know, prior to you know the last couple of years, but uh, you know, you know, good pitching uh, will will eventually beat good hitting. And you know, the last couple of nights you've seen that. And that in the other 14 games that were played tonight. Uh, the same thing's going to happen. Good pitching will will be good in. All right, thank you. Okay, guys. One more for you, buddy. Go ahead and close this out, Larry. Okay. Uh, buddy, tonight we saw the combination of power and and speed, and I know you, you've got to really feel good about seeing the potential uh, these young players have. It's just a matter of getting the consistency, and how do you see that progressing as the season goes along? Well, hope, hopefully, Larry, you, you know, we see that, uh, you know, we see that growth uh, from these guys. And, you know, the guys we're talking about, the lesser service time players, and we've talked about it, but, you know, Dawes is playing well. You know, these, these, his at-bats are uh, becoming more big league-like. Uh, you know, Hampy, uh, you know, I think he'll tell you that, you know, there's more in there from him. Uh, Nunez, I thought, even though he didn't get any hits, had some better at-bats today. Uh, you know, Rogers is, uh, he's learning. Had a couple of strikeouts, but he got the base hit up the middle to knock in a run. That was that was good. He's playing nice defense. Uh, you know, Fuentes is, you know, he's, he's a ball player. He's going to do his part to, to help us win, and he's going he's gonna to get some hits. He got some big hits earlier for us in the year, and that will, you know, hopefully continue. So, uh, and some of our younger pitchers, Right, who uh, who will eventually get in games? You know, they, they need to grow too. So, uh, I've said before, a lot of these guys are are learning at the big league level. Uh, we're coaching them. Uh, we're trying to help them the best we can. The best experience is those guys going between the lines and experiencing big league games, and you know, night after night after night, and it it will pay off in the long run. Okay. Okay, thank guys. You, thanks. After the Tatis home run, uh, what did you do? To oh, shoot. Sorry, Patrick. Go ahead, man. Oh, can you hear me now, TT? Yeah, I got you. Okay. Uh, after Tatis hit his home run, what did you do to, I don't know if you regrouped is a word, but what did you do to settle in then um, from innings three through six? And then obviously Darvish got his single up the middle too, but from the third through the six, you were pretty much nails. What was the difference? Yeah, it was just a focus on, you know, hitting that black or just missing off. Um, you know, these guys are an aggressive team. They came out aggressive with me, uh, especially O.O., Manny, and then Machado right after that. It's um, That's what I just got to do from here on out is from pitch one is to execute the pitch on the corners uh, and not just, I guess, pitch contact early on, but just protect my first pitches. You were pretty down after your, your last performance in Miami. Um, at least from my perspective, you seemed a little bit down on yourself. Uh, but to regroup today and, and give your ch team a chance to come back and win, kind of give you a boost? Yeah, I mean, these guys are battlers, man. They, they grind at every at-bat after that. Uh, we got to use Darvish. Um, you know, he made some mistakes, and, you know, Mac had that big homer to tie it up, and, you know, we, we never were out of it. And, uh, you know, I'm happy that I was able to get that sixth inning. Um, you know, Trevor, I met the, what is it? Um, Osmer took off early, made a bad throw, but Trevor was there athletic enough to make that tag and get me out of that inning. Uh, but, yeah, that's what it was today. It was just a battle. I got punched in the face early, uh, but I kept, stepped, kept to my guns and made pitches. Thanks, Chi Chi. Appreciate it. Go to Thomas next. Go ahead, Thomas. Yeah, Chi Chi, once you settled in, and obviously, you know, you gave up the four runs in the first two innings, but as soon as you got that zero on the board, is, is that confidence, especially with the team here, with the guys you have, that as soon as you got that zero, it's like, we're not out of this thing, and that's going to pick up the guys? Yeah, I mean, that's what you want to do every time you go out there is throw zeros, especially after a couple of runs. Yeah, I mean, these guys have got my back. They got theirs. And, you know, grinding. Everyone, a couple people have long bats. Uh, 
Uh, we got some good knocks late on, um, some good out two outs hits. But uh, yeah, I was today was just a grind. When you um, sit there in the dugout and you watch this offense work and you see Ryan McMahon, he's had some power here lately. Do you almost anticipate that he's going to do something special? Yeah, I mean, everyone in our lineup can. Uh, Hampson came in to pitch hit, got that triple. He's just legs against the third, but uh, yeah, every, everyone in our lineup is, has pop, is, is good. They're big league hitters. Um, you know, we just, as pitchers, we just got to make less mistakes as the other guy. Anything else, Thomas? No, that's it. Thanks, Chi Chi. Awesome. We'll go to Daniel next. Go ahead, Daniel. Hi, Chi Chi. Was there anything after your last start that you went back and changed or adjusted for tonight? Uh, yeah, I was definitely. I was flying open a lot more in Miami. Um, you know, not attacking the glove side down and away um, as I did today. And I just focus on getting the ball down. Going back to what how I used to pitch is so uh, ground balls, soft contact. Um, but yeah, once I did that, started doing that from the third on, I was getting good results. Thank you. Go ahead and close this out, Owen. Hi, Chichi. Uh, can you just say uh, anything about your mindset, like in the second inning, uh, as it's you know you gotten up to four runs? What what are you thinking at that point, and how do you? How do you reverse it in your mind? How do you get yourself out of the, um, that situation? Yeah, I mean, a lot of things are coming to my mind after that. Another two on the board. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I just stuck stuck to what got me to the big leagues is uh, cutting and sinking it down in the zone. You know, they're a good ball team. Uh, they hit mistakes well, elevated pitches. So I just got to eliminate that uh, out of my arsenal. You know, if I am going to go up, it's up with purpose. Um, yeah, and, and I, I got to apologize to you, Darvish. I got him. Uh, got him in his elbow. Hopefully, hit the pad. But yeah, you never want to hit a guy, and especially a pitcher. Um, yeah, I, got, I feel for that. And got to execute better pitches to those guys. And then you put up five zeros at, or four zeros in the bullpen, does uh, three zeros. What about that bullpen coming in? to close it out and close what had been a close game at that point. Yeah, I mean, SD came out, got a good punch out and then no play. Uh, Givens as well. Don with the strike him out, throw him out. Uh, you know, if we've taken care of those little things, playing good defense, uh, you know, we got a chance because our offense is awesome. All right, thank you very much. Hey, Ryan Mack. Uh, how much were you thinking about the cycle? Um, I mean, I wasn't thinking about it too much. Obviously, you know, I knew I knew what I needed. Um, you know, I, obviously, it'd, it'd be something cool, but uh, you know, I, I don't think that's something you can uh, you can focus on. You know, Buddy said a moment ago that when you uh, you had the the line out sacrifice to Grisham or to, to center rather in the uh, in the inning, he said he thought that might have been your hardest hit ball all night. Uh, did yeah. you think you, you got a hold of that one? Yeah, I, that probably was, honestly. Um, you know, I battled against Darvish, got some, got some soft marks, but, uh, yeah, put, put a good swing on that one. How much fun are you having this year? I know you wish the team would be winning more, but certainly Coors Field, you guys have been pretty good. How much fun are you having? Yeah, um, it's way more fun when you win, obviously. Um, you know, it's easier to celebrate with your teammates because usually you know, – um, it's been tough at times this year, but you know you got to come here every day with, with with a new attitude, not letting you know the night before affect you. And uh, I, I think we're doing a good job of that. Okay, thanks, Matt. Yep. Go ahead, Thomas. Uh, yes, uh, Brian. The last road trip was kind of tiring for the team and everybody on it, but you were able to click a couple balls in Cincinnati. Was there a sign you took out of that that maybe you were? Um, you were finding some things um, offensively. Yeah, uh, for me personally, um, my last two bats in Cincinnati, uh, I felt there at the plate, felt like I was doing what I've, what I've been trying to do. Um, you know, before that, I, I was feeling a little bit out of whack, kind of grinding through the, those days and everything like that. Um, but yeah, so those last couple of bats felt good, and I uh, was trying to carry that into uh, every day. A couple of the bats tonight, I think the home run and another one there. You were able to shorten up a bit 
and click a ball pretty hard. Is that something that you talk with the hitting coaches and everyone, and maybe some of the other hitters about, and who are the people that you talk to about, just to remind you, hey, you can still shorten up and still have enough power to do something with an at bat? Yeah, I mean, honestly, man, my coaches are telling me that every day. Um, and I, I'm usually I'm trying to do it. It's, it's hard, man. They grow hard. They have a lot of different stuff. So, uh, you know, but when, you, when you can shorten up and, and take that good short swing to the ball, um, I think it's going to pay out more often than not. But, I mean, we, we've, as a team, we've all talked about, man, a lot of guys using shorter bats or anything like that this year. So, uh, it's, it's something that's talked about around here a lot. Have you changed your bat length this year? Uh, yeah, I, I've shortened my bat length. I've, I've been chuckling out of the a little bit this year. Okay. Um, as far as the um, falling behind uh, four runs, Chi Chi got you guys kind of back into it. When he threw up the, the zero in the third inning, was that kind of like, okay, we can breathe and we're going to get back into this thing? Yeah, man. Chi Chi, he's going to be a bulldog, man. He's always going to go out there and compete. Uh, you know, obviously it, it didn't go the way he wants in those first couple of innings, but I mean, he shut down a really good lineup, uh, you know, the next four and then the bullpen came in and, and shut him down. That's, that's a hard team to shut out for seven innings. So I thought we pitched really well in that, honestly. Okay, last one for me. Um, what was the bat last year as far as length goes, or what is it now? You're going to laugh. Um, 34 inches last year. Uh, it's 33.75 um, inches this year. So it's not not that much of a difference, but uh, I've been choking up with it. So. Okay, so you, so actually going down a bit just reminds you to choke up? Is that a mental thing? or? Yeah, you, you can say that. Okay. All right. Hey, thanks a lot, man. Yeah. Nick Grote, go ahead. Yo, Ryan, I know, I know it would be stupid to be looking for a cycle because that's not what's, you know, that's not what's important, but uh, you tagged that ball in the seventh and it was like a, it was like a step from the gap. Uh, I mean, that it had double written all over it. Let's be honest. I mean, when you were walking back to the dugout, did you feel at least a little bit of disappointment? Uh, at first, I was really excited because obviously, I mean, Trent got to come. Trent Grisham got to come in a little bit on that. He's he's a good outfielder, so it was just still tappy. But uh, I'd, I'd be lying to you if I wasn't sitting in the dugout saying, "Damn, five more feet left," and uh, I'm probably going to double. <laughs> yeah, right on. And then you know, just kind of overall, because uh, it it seemed really like a well played game, top to bottom. Is is this what is this what it looks like when you guys are on? When you guys are right? You know, I, I would say, man, I mean, we had, we had a lot of good big hits, played some really good defense out there tonight. So, um, you know, I, I, think, uh, I think overall it was a really good team win. Cool. Thanks, dude. Go to Kevin Henry. Go ahead, Kevin. Yeah, hey, Rymack, that uh, single that you had in the second, it looked like that uh, Darvish threw you an ethos pitch. Uh, it was like a 67-mile-an-hour curveball, I think. What does that do to your timing at the play after uh, everything else that you'd seen? I'm glad it looked like that because that's what it felt like. Um, <laughs> I thought it was I thought it was all over it. Um, and then I swung in and I, I literally hit it with like the back side of my bat. I, I don't know how I did it, but um, man, he's he's impressive. He uh, he can really manipulate the baseball and move in a bunch of different ways. So uh, it's, it's good for us to get a win against a guy like that. Going into a game knowing that he's got that in his arsenal, is that something you have to prep for? Um, you know, honestly, I don't know how you prep for it. Um, you know. I think you just try to try to wait out, try to get a mistake, get something on the middle of the plate, and you, know, you got to take advantage of those pitches and not miss them. Thanks, man. Yeah. Last few here. Go ahead, Tracy. Yeah, Ryan, how much has your confidence grown this year? I mean, you look like a better, a more consistent, more confident hitter. Are you? Uh, you know, I, I feel that way. So, uh, you know, I hope, I hope that everybody agrees with that or I don't know. I would say, but um, yeah, man, I, I feel good up there. I feel like, uh, you know, I've had a couple of trips around this league um, and I think I've just gained a lot of information in a lot of different situations. So I have a lot of, you know, past, uh, past moments to lean on and, and kind of pull information from. Was there a point where you said, you know what, I'm good enough to do this? Um, you know, I, I think I've always thought I was good enough to do this. Um, you know, I, I think it's just going out there and doing it and, and knowing how I'm going to be able to do it. Um, you know, I, I think the looser I am, the more fun that I have, you know, just playing with the guys and just focusing on that. That's always going to be the best baseball team. Thank you, sir. Yep. Go ahead and close this out, Larry. Yes, Ryan, uh, in your bat there with uh, Darvish uh, just prior to the home run, uh, 
he he seemed he stepped off the rubber you relaxed a bit and got back in um what was your mindset at that particular time which which one the uh the home run just prior to the home run um yeah man i honestly i was just trying to battle um you know i was trying to remember i think trevor let us off the double there uh yeah so honestly my intention was put the ball in play move trevor over to third um you know, so I was just going up there trying to battle against them. Um, and yeah, that's, that's, that's it. You're uh, right now, you're one of the top uh, leaders in home runs in the major leagues. Are you interested because the game's being held at Coors Field to be in the home run derby this year? Have you been asked? Um, I haven't been asked. Um, I, I, I haven't really thought about it too much, although I, I probably will in the next couple of days. I've, I've been asked that question a couple of times. Um, it's, it's definitely something I'd be interested in, man. I think it's a really cool event, and you know, to do it here at Coors uh, would be really cool. This is your really your first real opportunity in consideration to be on the All Star team. What would that mean for you? Man, I mean that would be awesome. Obviously, you know, I, I think that's a goal for everybody coming into the season. You want to be, you know, thought of as one of the best players in, in this league, um, and then you know, to do it at Coors, I think, uh, uh, should be really special. And finally, when you see the team tonight with the combination of power and speed and, and out there scoring eight runs, how frustrating is it that you're, you haven't been able as a team to be able to do that away from Coors Field? Yeah, uh, obviously it's frustrating, man. You know, I, I think the thing that's more frustrating for us right now is, is we see that and we know we can do that, uh, you know, and we just, we want to do it more often. I think, I think that's our goal right now. And I think that's what we're going to work towards. Um, you know, and then I think that will take care of itself uh, here and on the road. Okay. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks for your time, Mike. Yep. See you guys.